<laughs> this is gonna be funny. All right, guys, so we're still moving along on the yak. Uh, next step is the cutout of the cowl. So I went ahead and got the engine mounted, mounted it with a couple screws because it's gonna be coming on and going off. Usually I'll do two diagonal screws to make sure it's lined up. Uh, and I started out by, with no muffler on the engine, sliding, trying to slide the cowl on and seeing what I found. So I found I had two contact points. First contact point was the hall sensor here up on the uh, output shaft and uh, it was hitting the ring on the front of the cowl. The second contact point was my spark plug. So in order to get this fitted properly, I removed the spark plug because I wanted to work on the hall sensor first. Remove the spark plug and I put a foam earplug in. You can get these at Home Depot, shooting range, job sites, they're everywhere. Just rolled it up, put it in there with about a quarter inch sticking out, let it expand. Now we know we're sealed so we don't get a bunch of dust and debris in because we are going to be sanding on fiberglass. We don't want that in our engine. I'll just put a little tape over our exhaust port just to be safe and we're good to go. So first thing I did was I started working on the cowl here as you can see and I got my cut out. First I, I found the width by peeking through here and I marked it with a um, Sharpie. And then I used my quarter inch drum sander to keep going higher and higher, putting it on every time, about an eighth inch at a time until I found I was clearing the corners. Then I used a cutoff wheel to cut straight across and then finally sanded smooth. Once I had the final dimension in there, I took a little piece of uh, sandpaper, sticky back sandpaper on my finger and just went around it just to make sure the edges were all nice and smooth. There were no rolled parts from the drum sander. So that took care of that. Uh, next thing we have to do is we need two clearance for the spark plug and spark plug boot, as well as our muffler. So I made my little templating tool here. This is just poster board. You can buy it at Walmart, Target, Staples, Amazon. We'll find some links, put them below. It comes in 20 by 30-ish sheets, usually like a pack of five. I always got some in the shop because this is how I mark out my mufflers uh, or anything that's gonna be protruding from the cowl. So first thing I did is I there's a standout in the cowl here. It's about 100 by 100, I measured that. So I made a cutout in my poster board that's 100 by 150, giving me room to tape it to the bottom of the fuselage here with the, with the cowl on. Then I lifted this, pulled the cowl off, and now I've got a template here. So next step is gonna be to reinstall the spark plug, locate it on here and put a hole Pull the spark plug out again, put my ear plug back in, then I'll slide the cowl on, use that hole in this poster board with a body reamer to start the hole, and then I'll make a teardrop shaped cut for the spark plug boot and wire so that it doesn't chafe and it's easy to get on and off. So that's our next steps, we'll just keep working on it. After that, we'll do the Pitts muffler. Uh, would be nice if it came out here in the opening for the standoff, but I don't think it's gonna be that far back. I think we're gonna end up closer to here, so we'll probably have to make a couple holes for that. But uh, follow along and we'll, we'll keep going. Hope you're enjoying, guys. Making sure we're still centered on this thing. All right, so here we are back in the shop. We've got our cowl with our location hole for where the spark plug is gonna pop up. I've got an ignition. This is a 120 ignition, but it's okay. I'll, the spark plug cap's the same. And I'm gonna make a cut out in here so that this boot will clear. And then we'll have a little bit of tail for our wire, or uh, yeah, our spark plug wire to, to kind of run. So the things I'm gonna use are, I'm gonna use my 3 8 inch um, drum sander, my quarter inch drum sander, and my countersink bit to start the hole because well, uh, the body reamer is missing right now. I think the wife's using it for something. Anyways, so we're gonna start out by drilling this hole out as big as we can go with this here. Okay, so there we've got that. That is gonna be the front of the cap, as you can see here, kind of centered. I'm going to use my Sharpie to mark where the back of the cap will be, like so. We'll mark it about here. Let's give the cable a little bit of room to kind of bend down. And then I like to just kind of mark the width here. Small changes, guys, a little bit at a time. 
So now we've got that. I can line this up here. Take our countersink here. And it's going to go back and then it's going to taper back to this point that I'm drilling here. As with everything guys, take your time. A little bit of time slowly working it out until it's where you want it. So now I'm going to drill a couple steps with this and then I will check with my quarter inch sander here until it fits. Should be close there. Yeah, still a little small. We've got two more steps and I think we'll be where we want to be. There we go. Pretty good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my cutoff wheel to cut these slots and then I'm going to taper back to this one. That'll be the start of my cutout and then as you can see, this should set right in there. rough cuts. I'm going to cut inside the lines on this, guys. Nice and slow. You don't have to use a ton of RPM. Okay, now we've got our straight cuts for where the cap's going to go. Now I'm going to angle them back to the sides of this rear hole. Again, inside of where I want the final dimension to be because we're going to sand out to that dimension. You can see it's inside what we want it to be, and that's fine. It's ugly right now, but we're going to clean it up a little bit. And you, all, you notice I usually have two hands on the Dremel. Like I'll have a hand here with my thumb just to guide my pressure and kind of keep control of the, of the tool. Now, as you can see, got a much cleaner cutout. And if I take my boot from the inside here, that's going to sit nicely in there once it's on the engine. Now we need to put the cowl back on the engine with the spark plug in, make sure everything's centered, and we'll put a cap on and we'll test it out. All right, guys. So here you have it. Here's my final, my final product. If I line this up on the center here, I've got my cutout. And then this is just a rough size. I had to make it a little larger here. To get it over which is a little tough but what i'm finding is this is about where the cowl is going to be actually a little lower this is going to be way too long for me to actually get my cowl on without cutting a huge slot in the side of the cowl which i don't want to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark this about an inch up from where the cowl is going to be and we're going to cut this at this angle kind of like so with a hacksaw and then we'll clean it up with our sander and this will make it possible for us to get the uh, the cowl on and off, and should give us a pretty cool look. This is actually going to be a little lower, so I think that'll be I think that'll be pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and get this cut. I'm going to slide the cowl on, get this mark in here down here, marking kind of where it ends, so I know not to go way up here. But this is accurate, and we should be pretty close. So, anyways, next steps. Here we go. See, this is going to be a little bit oblong because of the, the cowl here. And as we cut this, we'll use the muffler to kind of stick through here and get an idea of how we're doing. We want about a quarter inch all the way around when we're all said and done. So we'll work on that as we go, but this is going to get us close. Okay, so first things first, we've got our mark here for our cut. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. It's nice and soft. It's just aluminum, guys. Not the cleanest, but that's why we use our drum sander when we're done. 
You can also put it on like the disc sander we have over here and square it up if needed, but that came out pretty good. Okay. Again. Make sure we have no sharp edges. Feel around, make sure we're not gonna cut ourselves. There we go. There you go, guys. Nice, easy cutout, and we're good to go. Now we'll work on the, the cowl itself. Again, we're using our microfiber towels to protect our stuff here. Make sure it's all good. Next, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna take our countersink pit, we're gonna start our hole. Right in the center. Out with our quarter inch bit. Bring it out a little here. This makes a quite a ma mess, guys. So you know, if you need to, do it outside. From experience, I know this side's always going to be a little tight because of the angle down. So I'm going to open that up a little more. And look with our muffler and kind of make it vertical. See what I'm saying? It's a little tight on that top edge and the bottom edge, so we need to oblong it a little bit more. Kind of normal on these. Now, okay, next step is going to be to put this on, back on the engine and start fitting this and enlarging it until we can get the cowl on and off okay and make sure we're okay. All right, guys, so we worked through the final fit of the cowl. As you can see, we came up with a little more cutout than I like, but in order to get the cowl over the intake or over the output shaft and everything, I had to cut back a little bit to get it dropped down on the muffler. Not a big deal. We got nice clearance all the way around up here. It looks good. You can see it's still a little rough from using the Dremel, so I'm just going to take this sticky back sandpaper like we talked about before, and uh, I just like to put it around my finger here. And it just cleans up the edges makes them look nice gets rid of any of the little uh, fibers from the fiberglass makes a nice cleaned edge real kind of rolls it a little bit gets rid of any paint chips you know just overall makes the appearance a little better do the same on both here same thing on our on our uh, out or our opening for our spark plug or spark plug boot i should say so there you go Make sure you go all the way around a couple times. It doesn't take a lot of material off, it just cleans it up nicely. You can kind of fold it in half for this bottom. There we go. And we'll wipe this down with a trusty microfiber towel. Still got a couple little chips, but that's normal. Nothing we can really do about that without sanding a whole lot more. You will probably put a little bit of tape on it and then sand around. But Anyway, so there you go. There's the final cutout of our cowl. I hope this helped you guys out in uh, making nice clean cuts and having your planes look good. You know, you got a nice cutout for our hull sensor here. Got our cutout for our spark plug boot and our muffler. And everything looks good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut this out for cooling. Uh, that'll be our next step along with baffling for the, the DA60 to make sure we keep it nice and cool when we're low and slow. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, we'll be having more content coming out shortly. Hope this helped, guys. Thank you.